they were having a lot of problems with the bars down one area of Rapid City. There was about a block and a half that had nothing but bars. And you could see Indians being thrown out of their bodily at night or a fight out in front or police attacking some people that had too much to drink. There was fights between cowboys and Indians. It was just a whole, what we used to call the skid row scene back in the day, you know, but it was right in what they call Main Street or Rapid City. And so uh, I remember one night we organized uh, an event to go down to protest uh, the bars. And of course, we did a caravan through Main Street and the next street protesting the treatment of Indian people in the bars and basically they they came out and laughed, more or less laughed at us. Um, and so we decided, well, we'll have to do something on their level that they understand. And so we organized, uh, I think we had about, oh, I'd say around 80 to 90 young, strong, Lakota men and other Indian tribes that were part of the movement at that time. We organized into teams of 12 to 15, about six teams. And we'd play, divide each team in half for one bar. For example, if you had 12 men on your team and you went to one bar, then six would come through the back and six to the front. And so we had this organized which bars we were going to hit. And we went in there. Our purpose was, of course, to, to confront the bartenders and everybody in there about the racism. And then whatever happened after that, it happened. And so we came up and we well executed plan. We hit these bars within about maybe, I'd say, five to ten minutes. Most of the bars were deadly silent, many times because a lot of the people were on the floor after a, what you might call a knockdown, drag out battle with the local rednecks. And needless to say, this was a night that the Indian people won in the city of Rapid City because most of the people on the ground, overwhelming majority, were not Indians, which was a complete turnaround. And so we were in and out in no time. By the time the police got there, nobody was there except the people on the ground who were all blaming Ains. 